Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 1892 Reds podcast. Obviously, you know me. I'm Luke. Um, I haven't got Ricky with me today. He's, you know, he's got a lot of technical difficulties. Um, it's not actually um, an excuse. He actually has got some technical difficulties. Um, I've been struggling to get hold of him all day. But um, just a quick one. It's only going to be, you know, five, ten minutes of your time. Um, just quickly before I go on about the Burnley review. Um, thank you very much for all of the... Uh, podcast that we've um, been on this week. Uh, we was on the COP Council on Wednesday night doing the preview of the show. So, Connor, thank you very much for letting me and Ricky be on your show. It was an absolute privilege and hopefully many more to come and you'll join us soon on the 1892 Reds podcast. Also, um, I was on the review show last night for Yanks of the COP. Um, check out their content. I'll leave the description in our page for this video below and also for the COP Council. So, once again, thank you very much for you guys for letting me be on the show Obviously not a great show to be on for the result, but obviously for the for the like for, for the extent of the channel, thank you very much. And thank you to all of you guys that have been viewing and tuning into our um to our channel. Um we're getting better every day, you know, we're getting a lot more subscribers. So please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're nearly at 50. Me and Ricky never thought we'd be at this stage, you know, a few months ago when we created the channel. Please follow us on Twitter and on Instagram as well. Please follow myself and Ricky on all social media accounts as well. We'll leave the descriptions below. So enough of that. Let me get into the rant. It finished Liverpool nil, Burnley one. The obviously the only goal came from Ashley Barnes from the penalty spot five minutes from time. Um, you've probably seen my review on the Yanks of the Cop show. You've seen my preview about the game. I was very confident with the game. Ricky wasn't so confident. He said a one nil Burnley and he was spot on. And I've only got a couple of things to say about the game, so I don't want to take too much of people's time. But Jurgen Klopp, you need to sort this team out. It is now five games without a goal. It is now four games without a win in the Premier League. Yes, maybe us Liverpool fans may be a little bit spoilt that over the last two to three years, we've had some good success. We've won the Champions League. We've won the Premier League last season. You know, we're obviously a top side. And it now looks like, you know, we're, we're coming away from that. We're taking a huge step backwards. We don't know where the goal is. We don't know how to get, you know, get the ball over the line. We, we can't play sort of plan B, plan C football. We don't look like a top side now. So this is the criticism I'm going to give for you. I trust you. I believe you as Liverpool manager. I believe you are the man to take us forward. And we obviously all know that all clubs have to go through a blip in their seasons and blip in their careers. But you need to now sort this out as Liverpool manager. You need to now make us fans believe and you need to make the players believe that we can get back to where we are. In my personal opinion, the title race is now over. It is now a straight race for top four. I know this league, obviously we're only halfway through it. I know this league is very ups and downs and you know teams can come back into positions where we didn't think they're going to be. But I believe personally, the way we're playing right now, we are out of the title race. I think we're in a battle to get into that top four to make sure that Next season, we are in the Champions League because if we're not, it's going to be a massive, massive problem for us next season. So looking at the game, um, typical sideways Liverpool passing, um, not really creating too much in the first half, apart from possibly Origi, which a chance was gifted to him. You can see why that he doesn't get into the starting eleven. He needs to score. He needs to put that ball away. Second half, not really much change. He brings Salah and Firmino on. Firmino, very, very out of sorts in the last couple of years, not really putting the ball in the back of the net and we're not giving us the confidence as fans and probably his team, you know, that we can give him that chance to score a goal. And Mo Salah, top goal scorer, I don't know why you're leaving him on the bench clock, but, you know, in my opinion, you know, that's, that's criminal. You know, you cannot leave your top goal scorer on the bench when you need to win this game to keep yourself at least in a title picture and it's not happened. And your tactics have actually made us, you know, worse off in the last five, six games. I, I, I love you as Liverpool manager. I think we all do, but you really need to sort this out. We believe in you. We believe in this team. And we need to come, we need to come forward against Tottenham next week on Thursday. Yes, we've got United in the FA Cup. You need to, uh, for me, in my opinion, you need to put out a strong team. We need to get that winning mentality back at the club. We need to score some goals. I've heard some people saying, uh, are we going to win the Champions League? Are we going to win the Premier League this season? We can't even score. If we can't even score a goal, how are we going to actually compete at this level to try and win major trophies? I don't want to turn into an Arsenal, no disrespect to them, and come fourth every season maybe and try and win an FA Cup. We are Liverpool Football Club. That is not what we do. 
Yes, we win trophies, but we don't consistently say, all right, we're going to come fourth this season. We aim for the very, very top. And that may be being a little bit spoiled, but being a Liverpool fan, that's how I've always grown up to be. For 20 years or so, I've been a Liverpool supporter. And obviously a lot more people have been Liverpool supporters as, as longer as me. But the way I've been brought into it is for success. We look to win every game. We look to be as high as we can. And this is not the way we should be at the moment. So Liverpool Football Club, get your act together. Manchester United at the weekend. I want, a, I want a great performance. I want some goals. Obviously, if we lose the game, we lose the game. But put in a performance, put in something that the fans will take away with a bit of confidence and say, we are moving in the right direction because at the moment, we're not. So from myself on the 1892 Reds podcast, Ricky, my co-host, obviously has his own says, but from himself on the 1892 uh, Reds podcast, you will never walk alone, Liverpool fans. You will never walk alone, Liverpool players. And from us, obviously, of course, we believe in you. So come on, Liverpool. 